Yes. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, did you? Good morning. Did you go through the textbook? Yes. All okay till now? Yes. So we are moving on to our last topic, which is creativity. What was the previous topic that we dealt with? Attitude and interest. Hmm? Attitude and interest. Yes. What were aptitude and interest, Ashish? And what? Topic did we learn aptitude and interest? Specific abilities. Special abilities, isn't it? Or specific. Just see, see, check. Special abilities. Okay. So if you are asked to write a note on the special abilities, you will write about aptitude, interest uh, with the examples and all. Okay. Yes. So we move on to creativity. What is creativity? Not the definition. What is your understanding of creativity? Tell me, each one of you tell me, what is your understanding? We'll start with our new chum, Sneha. Tell me, what is your understanding of creativity? Creativity for me is like having your own imagination or uh... Your own idea. Your own imagination, your own ideas. Okay. That's In a unique way. In? In a unique way for oneself. In a unique way. Yeah. Okay. That's it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, Meghna, tell me, what is your understanding of creativity? Creating a new thing from a small topic or inspiration. Creating a new thing out of inspiration. Okay. Then, next person, Elvina. And doing something new. Doing something new. Okay. Doing something new is creative. Mm. Innovation, yes. Aishwarya. To think differently in a unique way. When when we deal with the situation, we mm. differently than the other person. We deal with differently than the other person. Okay. Amal. I'm doing something artistically with no one at the hat right. Doing something artistically, till that I understood. What was the rest? In a way which no one other had tried. In which nobody else has tried before. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Is that what you meant? Okay. Ashish. According to you. A different way. Thinking and doing in different way. Okay. Yes. Grishma, what is your understanding of creativity? Grishma is not here. Where is Grishma? Not here. Please switch on your video, Grishma. Yes, Raina, what is your understanding of creativity? Something we do differently, unique way. Something we do differently in a unique way. Okay. Anybody else who did not get a chance? Who's absent today? Sana, Amal, and that's it. You are absent, right? Okay. Now, take your turns and tell me what do you see on the board? 
امل ام مون ام سي ام مون ها ذن سمثنگ لائک لیک او واٹر باڈی سمثنگ لائک ا لیک او واٹر باڈی اوکے میم نیٹ نیٹ ہاں میں دیٹ نیٹ दैट्स ऑल ओके uh if i would ask you to give a title to this uh, diagram what would you suggest anything anything mal think think okay think sit and think raina <clears throat> raina stuck megna what all do you see banana banana okay net a uh, net small small circles mm -hmm. then the map of country something map of a country or something okay then some shapes what shapes some shapes okay then then uh, a square mm -hmm. uh, then uh as two circles mm -hmm. then something about that circle <laughs> okay that's it okay vina elvina boat boat and net net Mm. Boat it in uh, like rocks, rocks, and um, a cat sitting on the rock. Cat sitting on the rock, <laughs> and that's that's it okay now hashish number 60 i can see number 68 60, 60 and 8 60 and 8 someone signature on the top Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Ashish, continue. Is it near that red part that you see, sixty and eight? Yes. Ashish, unmute, please. 
side of the figure side of the figure that red colored one isn't it yes sir okay okay then what else do you perceive from this a signature some signature on the top ha ah, some signature on the top then many w's many w <laughs> okay that's all ah uh, that's all that's all okay sneha mom boat man boat and uh, the yellow dots look like some sort of emoji emoji yes yeah, then. then the cat then the pink one looks like amoeba amoeba okay and stone that's all yes okay rena rena uh, yes ma hmm uh, what is your understanding of this picture i see a spider spider okay amal and dishma please switch on your videos rena sees a spider i wonder where Hmm. Is it a spider? No. Or right Where? The, the right one. The that side. <laughs> Which side? That side. That side. That side. The left side. Ah, left side. Okay. Let it be. Okay. Tell me. Tell me whatever you see, or whatever you can. It's all out of this. I see a banana. Banana. Okay. That's all. That's all. Okay. Hi, Shreya. Okay, it's gonna be weird. Huh? It's going to be weird. It's going to be weird. Okay. The first thing I see is a banana on a roller skates going for some championship. Oh, okay. Then on the other side, it's a cat, and that red square is its cat's on territory. Okay. And the violet color is someone else's territory. The cat is trying to conquer it. Like in games, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. Conquer it that. Color and see you play a lot of games. Then, then the pink color thing. I see it either as an amoeba or it's kind of another continent or country. Okay. That's it. And I don't know what to define for that uh, one on the left top, the red color marking. Red, red thing. Okay. So who would like to give a title for this picture, for a drawing? Anything? Imagine this is a ten um, marks question coming for your uh, board exam. So you have to attend it. You just have to give a title. So what would you give? you have a 3 years exam and you can't think for so much time anything anything would be fine let it be weird funny uh, blunder anything racing to win racing to win okay anybody else Something else is going through your minds. I know. The unknown. Huh? The unknown. Okay. Amal, give it a try.
Yes. Krishma is here. Krishma. <laughs> Ashish has uh, given a title. How Ameba eat banana? Yeah, it seems so. And what is the spelling of Ameba, man? Ah. <laughs> Science students, what is the spelling of amoeba? No science student. Mehik is absent. We forgot her. Yes. Grishma, are you there? Can you respond? No. Okay, fine. Anybody else who would like to try? A cat's imagination. A cat's imagination. Okay. Amal, tell one. I don't know why, but I'm very curious to know about a new from you. It's a cicada. Huh? Cicada. Cicada? Ah, uh, unknown, so I'm hiding. What is it? No, it's unknown, so I name that. What is the meaning of that? Um, it's a type of insect, but uh, there was a group uh, which they put a photo. This is mm -hmm. ethnography. If mm -hmm. you find, you should go behind them and find them. It was mm -hmm. a team. Um, mm -hmm. So I name is unknown. So I name cicada. Cicada, that insect itself is unknown or it's rare to find. Not that, ma'am. Uh, there was a group named uh, on the cicada. Oh, okay, okay. In that, they'll post pictures and then you'll have to go and find. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, okay. Sikaida. That's new for me. There'll be some meaning for that, no? We'll find that later, anyways. Uh, okay. So, to again, FYI <laughs> for your information, I didn't have a single thing that you all said in my mind when I drew all these things. I just took the pen and randomly scribbled something. And all these came out of your intelligence or something else? What do you think? Imagination. Imagination. So all those factors would lead you to something that we are going to learn about. What is it? Creativity. Yes. So as you told, creativity is like... Uh, Thinking in different ways, being unique, creating new things, bringing up new ideas, then uh, thinking in abstract terms. Did you find out what uh, convergent and divergent thinking is? Yes? Yes, Meghna, tell me. For divergent thinking, it has many ways to solve a problem. Mm -hmm. For the convergent, we solve the problem by logical logics and all but for divergent we doesn't uh, like we have we find many ways to solve a particular problem we find many ways to solve a particular problem so the opposite would be convergent which means with different information we come to a single conclusion understood that is di uh, convergent and divergent thingy any other explanation for that <laughs> nobody else Looked up. Anybody else for convergent and divergent thinking? No. Did you all understand what convergent and divergent thinking is? Yes. Thinking in different ways about a single thing. That is divergent thinking. Understood. And thinking about different things and coming together to a single solution. That is convergent thinking. Okay? Okay. So now what you did was convergent thinking or divergent thinking regarding the picture? Which one? Divergent. Divergent thinking because you thought in different ways. Your thought process uh, uh, went through the animal kingdom, through the uh, what you call the game kingdom, <laughs> then you went through the uh, what the geometry, mathematical kingdom, 
then what else you saw banana boat and different 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 things yeah you went through the bacteria virus all those section also so you thought in different ways about the sim single thing that is divergent thinking and creativity divergent thinking is very important okay so we have laid the foundation for creativity and now we look into what creativity is okay elvina start reading creativity in the foregoing sections you have read that there are variations in psychological attributes like intelligence aptitude personality and so on mm -hmm. here you will learn that there are differences in the potential for creativity across individuals and the manner in which creativity is expressed okay that's that's already understood right because creativity might not be the same for each and every one of you we already proved that there are different levels in which you think different ways in which you think the potential for creativity is also different in each one of us okay then summer some are highly creative and others are not so creative Some may express creativity in writing, still others in dance, music, poetry, science, and so on. Manifestations mm -hmm. of creativity can be observed in a novel solution to a problem, an invention, composition of a poem, painting. Manifestation beautiful. of creativity means how creativity is expressed or used. It can be seen or observed in a novel solution to a problem, which means finding a new solution for a problem, or an invention that is like the invention of something scientific any device all those things forms under invention then composition of a poem that is also creativity you write a poem suppose i give you a word um what is it this this t h i s this and i ask you to write a poem on that If I ask you, then you have to write. Do you want to write now? No. <laughs> we'll do it later. Okay. Then painting. Painting is also creative art. Then new chemical process. That is a new. Uh, that is a creative thing. Mixing this chemical, that chemical, mixing. some other pink colored chemical then mixing the plain colored chemical getting a new colored chemical all those is also creativity then an innovation in law there are different rules and laws in a society isn't it and uh, as the year goes by there there might be modifications in different laws there might be amendments we call that amendments in the acts and all so that is again creativity then a breakthrough in preventing a disease breakthrough in preventing the disease what is currently going on which one are we trying to prevent our safe houses yeah corona and as a measure against corona what are we taking or what have people started taking vaccination vaccination they have started to get vaccinated that is again creativity new ideas coming up they have thought they have been working the people who bought up this uh, vaccination or who made this vaccination or vaccine available they have been thinking a lot isn't it they have been studying about corona for a very long time and that's how they found how to fight against it so that is again creativity then despite differences one common element among these is the production of something new and unique that is the basic element of creativity underline that one common element among all these different types of creativity or creative things is that the production of something new and unique production of something new and unique okay now make that continue We generally think of creativity in terms of creative persons like Tagore, Einstein, C. V. Raman, Ramanujan, etc., who have made outstanding contributions in different fields. In recent years, our understanding of creativity has broadened. Creativity is not just limited to a selected few: the artist, the scientist, the poet, or the inventor. Do you Now, think it is uh, limited to those people alone? 
can you just call the um whom do we consider shakespeare was he creative william shakespeare was he creative yes ma'am yes your mom at home is she creative yes ma'am yes why in at least yeah uh, in cooking she tries new in her own version yes and i thought of the same that. example yes she tries uh, to add her own signature styles in different curries or different cuisines that she makes that is again creativity okay fusion fusion food how many of you like fusion food okay then continue the artist the scientist the poet or in inventor an ordinary individual who is engaged in simple occupations like poetry carpentry mm -hmm. cooking etc is it poetry is it poetry pottery pottery <laughs> pottery means making pots making pots and with the clay and all you see that spinning wheel that we make that is pottery then etc can also be creative however it has been said that they are not working at the same level of creativity as an eminent scientist or a writer hence yes. we can say hence we can say that individuals vary in terms of their level and the areas in which they exhibit creativity and that all may not be operating at the same level underline that sentence as very important we can say that individuals vary in terms of the level and the areas in which they exhibit creativity and that all may not be operating at the same level which means what two things are different in people even though they uh, even i if i take two people x and y hmm? both are creative but it's not necessary that x is working in the same area as y in terms of creativity also x might be on a higher level of creativity than y so level and area of creativity might differ among two people two people or more than two people um how many of you watched the movie drishyam drishyam 2 2 ashish did you watch megna no why I didn't have interest, and my parents didn't allow. Okay, Drishyam one. What about Drishyam one? Yes. That everybody watch, right? Okay. Uh, now tell me, what is the character's name? Mohanlal's character's name? George Oti. George Oti. Yeah. If I ask uh, psychologist uh, first definition, you wouldn't remember. But this you have to remember, isn't it? of course okay so consider george gutti as one person and the actor the person uh, that is uh, mohanlal as another person okay whom do you think is more creative or do you think they are creative if yes why if not why <laughs> too many questions okay i'll shorten down to the first one do you think both of them are creative yes both of them are creative yes both of them are creative okay how many of you agrees with her amal sneha meena reena alina ashish okay full house then Why do you think both of them are creative? Ashish, tell me why do you think both of them are creative? Tell. They are thinking in a different way. They are thinking in a different way, like. example to prove that
No examples. No. Some other person tell me, why do you think they are creative? Mohanlal is an actor and he excels in his field. Hmm. In the case of George Oti, he has to think critically and I should say the full movie. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell, no problem. We have ample time today. Uh, he has to think critically and in a different way to solve the problem. At his or say we got... Yes. Okay. What about the others? What do you think? Any other answer? Any creative answer other than this? Yes, anyone? Amal? What are you talking to yourself? Share it with us. Why do you think both of them are creative? Hmm. Unmute and speak, no problem. Hmm. My Mohalal as an actor hmm. is creative. Uh, Who told he is creative? Huh? Who told he is creative? Ma'am, uh, he's acting. Uh, so acting good. is creative. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, uh, the character is also He tries very hard to hide the body, uh, which even no one can find easily. So that's also a creative way of hiding. Okay. Yes. He thought in a different way, um, so that. No other people would think in that way, isn't it? So that was divergent thinking, right? He thought of different solutions to his problem and he faced a real life problem. He thought of different solutions and then he came up with a solution which he thought no other people would think about. Also, when you see uh, part two, you can, th you can know that he also had other solutions in mind already. This is it. And when part three comes, we'll know what more solutions are there. This would become a promo for the movie. Uh, okay. So, again, are uh, both of them working at, or not working, are their creativities working at the same level? No. No. They are working in different levels. Okay. And are they working in the same area or field? Their creativities, one is trying to hide a crime, one is trying to be versatile in the field in which he is working. So are they working in the same area? Creativities of both the people? No. So this is a clear cut example to show that the creativities of people will be different in terms of their levels of working and the areas of working. And again, what about the education of both of the people? Die hard fans of Mohalal, hands up. Nobody. Okay. So, what was George Uti's education? His fourth standard fail. Yeah, fourth standard. Fourth standard fail. I fourth like standard it, fail. Yeah, in that movie, he's telling now. And he is doing a business in the what is the education? Okay. And what about uh, his wife? A housewife. Uh, no, 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 they are talking about education in that film. That's what I asked. Okay, what about Mohalal's education? Anyhow, we know it's more than fourth standard pass, isn't it? So again, their level of education is also different. So even though they have uh, totally different backgrounds, they, they both are creative, but their creativity work at different areas and different levels. Is that point understood? Okay, now just see the next point. I should you read. Einstein's theory of relativity is an example of the highest level of creativity, which implies bringing out altogether new ideas, facts, theory, or a product. 
Hmm. Another level of creativity is working on what has already been established earlier by way of modification by putting things in new perspectives or to new use. Okay, underline that point. Uh, bringing out altogether new ideas, facts, theory, or a product. That is one level. And another level of creativity is working on what has already been established earlier by way of modifications, by putting things in new perspectives or to new use. So when you invent, these are two levels, two main levels, not as such, but generally we say there are two levels. Okay, uh, so making something new, creating a new dish or inventing something like uh, something that does not exist already, bringing out a new idea, introducing a new term, all these things forms in the first category. That is bringing out altogether new ideas, facts, theories, or a product. And what is the second one? For already existing things, we modify on them. Okay? We bring in new, new ideas to the things that exist and try to modify them. Okay, understood? It's like um, the first one is making a new batch of uh, dough for today's chapati. And uh, the second one is like uh, taking the old dough from the fridge and making into something fried. Understood? First one is making something new. Second one is modifying something that already exists into something else. Got it? Okay, these are the two levels. Now, continue, Aishwarya. Research literature suggests that children begin to develop their imagination during the early years of childhood, but they express creativity, creativity mostly through physical activities and in non-verbal ways. Yeah, so children start to express their creativity in terms of physical activities. Physical activities like uh, uh, they play with kitchen set, right? And they try to mix so many things and make uh, it colorful. They put leaves and flowers and so on and tell that this is sambar or this is that, this is chicken roast and so and so. And they'll, uh, they'll make all sorts of uh, these kinds of, what do you call? Uh, the with the coconut shells have you seen them playing in the mud and they'll name all sorts of names for that uh, for their own dishes that that's again creativity the physical activities that they show and they some of the children they dress up and show creativity yes then what else is there Physical activities and through non-verbal ways. Non-verbal means without the use of language. Without the use of words, they express their creativity. Again, physical activity is the same, non-verbal. Okay, continue. Underline that and keep physical activities and non-verbal ways. Then. When language and intellectual functions are fully developed and store of knowledge is adequately available, creativity mm. is expressed through verbal modes too. Mm -hmm. Those who are outstanding in their creativity may give an indication about the direction in which their creativity lies through their self-chosen activities. Mm -hmm. In some cases, however, opportunities need to be provided before they can manifest their hidden potential. potential for creativity. Yeah. So if they have an adequate environment to express their creativity, they choose their, uh, most probably, they choose their uh, area of creativity. Suppose if they... Mm, would like to draw things mm, then what they do is they show their creativity in terms of drawing whenever they go to a market the first thing that they will buy will be the watercolors oil pastels the oil colors canvas brush uh, brush of that particular thickness this particular thinness then <clears throat> they'll buy all sorts of charcoal pencils then uh, HB pencil size 2, 4, all these things. And then uh, each and every time uh, they get uh, free time or free periods, they'll sit and draw and they'll exhibit. If their parents are really supporting, then let's increase their levels of creativity. They, they have an environment to express their creativity and that level of creativity might be increased. Okay, so first of all, they did not have proper language and knowledge to 
uh, express their creativity. So what they do? They do physical activities and non-verbal ways of expressing creativity. Later on, when they got the knowledge and the they developed the language to express it, they express it in that way. Then what they are telling about children is, uh, most of the children, if they have a proper environment to express their creativity, they choose a particular side or they choose a particular field to express their creativity. It might be dance, it might be art, it might be music, it might be something else. Okay, like literature, writing, poetry, essays. Haven't you seen children writing for and composing things at a very early age? Yes, okay, that's it. No, next paragraph, Rena. How do we explain variations? How do we explain, explain variation in potential of creativity as a case of other mental and physical characteristics? Such variation can be attributed to the complex interaction of heredity and environment. Hmm. Underline that. Underline the whole sentence or else you will read only environment and heredity. What the sentence is telling is, as in the case of other mental and physical characteristics, such variations can be attributed to the complex interaction of heredity and environment. When we studied intelligence, when we studied the attribute of intelligence also, we saw how heredity as well as environment would affect our uh, intelligence, isn't it? Which means, what under which topic did we learn that? Nature. Nature and nurture. Nature and nurture. Okay. Then continue. Continue. There is no disagreement that creativity is determined by both heredity and environment. Hmm. Limits of the creative potential are set by heredity. Environment factors stimulate the development of creativity. Underline, underline that. Limits of the creative potential are set by heredity. Environmental factors stimulate the development of creativity. So by heredity, we get a certain amount of range. That is, this person can be creative from this range to this range. That is set by a heredity. Now, how we develop creativity, how much can we go uh, in our creativity levels, how can we express our creativity, all these factors are affected by the environmental factors. Suppose you are born with a lot of creative talents. There are certain inborn talents in you, inborn creativity, creative uh, forms in you, but you are living in an environment where uh, your creative talents are not accepted and it's not supported in any way. Not supported in any way. Okay. In that sense, uh, will you be able to express your creativity to the, its full potential? No. Suppose the same person is born to a family where all types of creativity is supported. Then that person will be able to express all these things. Understood. So the limit is set by heredity and the stimulation is done by environmental factors. Understood? Okay, then continue. How much of the creative potential can be realized? When and when and in what? No, in what uh, specific, specific form of direction? Direction is uh, largely determined by environmental factors such as motivation, motivation underline motivation, commitment, commitment, commitment family support, family peer influence, support, peer training. influence training. training. <clears throat> Although no amount of training can can transform an average person to a level of Tagore, Shakespeare, etc. But mm -hmm. it, it is also true that every individual can raise his or her level of creative oh. potential. Huh. Beyond its Beyond present, its level. present level. Mm. In this context, you have you have already uh, read in class 11 about strategies to enhance creativity. Mm. Do you remember strategies to enhance creativity? Mm. 
anyone strategies to, to <clears throat> sorry strategies to enhance creativity nobody at least the heading ashish do you remember strategies to enhance creativity no amal have you heard this strategies to enhance creativity yes where elvina remember yes or no just tell me yes or no like i am not uh, not gaining out of my out of your mind no it's not uh, i can't uh, remember you can't remember megna oh ma'am you don't remember rena no aishwarya no it about the mnemonics the those were strategies to memorize isn't it <laughs> nobody has heard about this i mean which chapter was it how can i say i'm asking you do you remember or not no you won't remember because i did not teach you <laughs> i'm just telling you i heard about it where did you hear it i didn't teach you remember so many deleted portions <laughs> that do you remember at least yes okay so that is an <laughs> introduction for creativity and the problem with this type of uh, lengthy paragraphs is that when you go through the portions when you see bolded things you find it interesting to read it or you'll think that's important isn't it but when you see paragraphs like this you won't give much attention to it but the problem is suppose i give you one sentence another level of creativity is working on what has already been established earlier by way of modifications by putting things in new perspectives or to new use elaborate how would you write an answer such questions might come for uh, board exam they'll just pick up one sentence from the textbook and then they'll write elaborate write a note on this Uh, criticize uh, or write criticism on the statement explain the statement that's why i'm telling you read the text daily otherwise you wouldn't know which chapter this is from which topic this is from and so and so okay so read the textbook daily now we have one more class today right so with that we'll conclude this chapter and when do you want the test you can decide the date the aim of the test is you stud you sit and study it carefully not for me i'm not doing this for me and we don't have time to waste um a full hour for a test so you decide when will you finish studying the whole chapter thoroughly that day we can uh, keep a test when do you want <clears throat> tomorrow <laughs> then tell me nobody is telling sneha are you able to follow yes okay so how much time will you need to uh, see all the recorded classes and uh, learn psychology 
learn this chapter how much would you think on an average i'll try now sorry you'll try okay guys thinking or simply sitting after one week after one week okay others tell me suggestions at least don't tell me after one year hmm amal what is going on tell me whatever you are telling on your own please share with us is a looking calendar you looking calendar okay then you look at the all the calendars and all the dates and i know you all have a busy schedule so uh, go through them <laughs> whenever you are free fix a date and tell me by evening okay okay then we'll meet in the evening thank you bye Thank you ma'am thank you ma'am